Hello and welcome to the analysis video for the first energy draw public test session. To start, let's go over the current form of heat scaling just so that everyone is on the same page and someone who is new to the game could understand the implications of the change. Heat scale, commonly referred to by the community as ghost heat, was implemented on July 16th, 2013. It was brought in to counteract the behavior of taking multiple copies of the same weapon system and firing them all at the same time. These are referred to as boating the weapon and alpha striking. The system works by separating all of the weapons into different categories and assigning a maximum limit. This is the amount of weapons that can be fired within that category without incurring a penalty. For example, IS large laser class weapons such as the large laser, ER large laser, and large pulse are all linked together and have a limit of 3. If you choose to take more weapons than the limit allows and fire them at the same time, you will receive extra heat as a penalty. Each group also has its own penalty scaling, meaning that breaking the limit with one type of weapon might cause devastating penalties, while another type will just cause a slap on the wrist. You can avoid this penalty by either equipping weapons in quantities that will not break the limit, or by staggering your shots by at least 0.5 seconds. Now let's talk about the new system of energy draw. Energy draw is a system where your mech has a finite pool of energy used to fire its weapons. Each weapon has an energy value which represents how much energy is drawn when that weapon is fired. Typically the amount of draw for the weapon is 1 to 1 based on its damage, but currently spread weapons such as LRMs, SRMs, and LBX are slightly lower at 0.75 draw per 1 damage. If you fire any quantity of weapons in short succession they would completely use up your pool of energy and cause you to go into the negatives, you will be penalized with extra heat proportional to the amount that you went over. After firing a weapon, the pool will quickly refill in a matter of a few seconds, resetting the system for the next volley of fire. Of course, if you choose to fire an amount of weapons that does not exceed the energy pool, there will be no penalty. Currently, the energy pool is 30 points and it regenerates at 20 points per second, meaning a full bar is regenerated every 1.5 seconds. The penalty is calculated by the amount of points you went over the limit of 30, divided in half. So, for example, an alpha strike of 50 points will go 20 over the limit and incur a penalty of 10. These numbers are subject to change and may be different in future test sessions. Let's take a look at the benefits from changing from heat scale to energy draw. The energy draw system is much simpler to explain to a new player. Instead of having to teach all the different weapon groupings, their individual limits and penalty scalings, the energy draw system puts it all into one. It makes it simple enough that I can do the heat penalty calculations for my builds in my head, compared to the current system where I need to look up information in an external data source. It is much more visible to the player. With the energy draw bar right on the screen, the player can see exactly how much each weapon is drawing from the pool, what state their energy is in, and can predict fairly accurately whether or not they will incur a penalty if they fire at that moment. The current system is nicknamed Ghost Heat mainly because it is almost invisible to the player. Aside from a small warning in the mech lab, there is nothing showing the state of your heat scaling or how large the penalty will be. It's more forgiving to slight timing errors than the current system. Under the current system, you have to separate your fire by at least 0.5 seconds to avoid penalty. If you fire at 0.49 seconds, you get the full penalty, while if you fire at 0.51 seconds, you get no penalty meaning that a slight misclick can result in huge penalties. Since the energy draw system is based on constantly recharging energy points, the difference between firing your next volley at 0.49 seconds and 0.51 seconds is negligible, as the penalty will scale accordingly. It closes several loopholes in the current system. With the current system, the different groups of weapons have no interactions between each other meaning you can take a variety of weapons that are all under their individual limits, but together are much larger than anything you can do with a single weapon group. Some examples of this are laser builds mixing large pulse lasers and medium lasers, and sniper builds mixing gauss rifles and PPCs. Since the new system is universal, these builds that relied on loopholes of the current system are now receiving penalties when they alpha strike. And now for some of the problems. Under the new system, some of the previously penalized builds are not going to be penalized so hard. For example, IS PPCs can now fire three at the same time with no penalty, while in the current system this is met with a penalty of 11.97 heat. 
there will be some builds that have been a problem in the past that will crop back up because they are no longer being penalized as harshly. This is due to the fact that we are now using a single linear penalty scaling, where these weapons in the past had their own much harsher scalings. This could be lessened by either raising the draw values on these weapons or increasing the penalty scaling for the whole system. Not all weapons are created equal, and having equal energy draw based on just damage will negatively affect some playstyles and weapon systems. For example, the difference between two medium lasers dealing 10 damage at short range spread over an enemy mech over a duration is huge compared to a single PPC dealing 10 damage at long range to a single component instantaneously. There needs to be an adjustment to the draw values to benefit some specific types of weapon systems, namely weapons with shorter range and that spread damage either over an area such as LBX or over time such as lasers. Personally, I think we should increase the values of the stronger weapons instead of decreasing the values of the weaker weapons. For example, having an energy draw on the PPC increased to somewhere between 12.5 and 15 instead of its current 10 points. Gauss rifles are still a problem. The weapon is so low heat that even if its entire energy draw is counted as penalty, it would still only be 8.5 heat for 15 damage. This makes the Gauss Rifle easy to tack on to an already large Alpha Strike. For example, a triple IS PPC build generates 28.5 heat with no penalties. Adding another PPC brings it to a total of 43 heat, which includes 5 penalty for a total of 40 damage. If you instead added a Gauss Rifle, it would be a total of 37 heat, which includes 7.5 penalty for 45 damage. Taking a Gauss Rifle as your extra weapon allows you to have a larger Alpha Strike that is more heat efficient. I believe Gauss Rifles need a much higher energy draw in order to compensate for this fact. If we redo the previous example with Gauss Rifles having an increased draw to 30, the total heat is now 44.5, which includes 15 penalty heat for 45 damage. This number is now much closer to the heat efficiency of the PPC only example. This might be too large of a jump right off the bat, so incrementing the Gauss Rifle draw over the next PTS sessions would be a good idea. Start at 20 and see how it plays. Overall, I'm very hopeful about this new system. It needs some adjustments, but that's what the public test is for. Thanks for listening, and good hunting.